Hey guys, Soupy's Games here, back for another episode of Dare Eisendrock Essentials. In this part 4 video, I will show you how to upgrade the wolf bow. It's actually pretty easy, and I like the bow overall, it's pretty good. If you like this tutorial, I have other tutorials up on my channel now. Go ahead and check out the tutorials playlist, and you can learn about how to play the map Der Eisendrock really well. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. The first step in obtaining the wolf bow is actually to get the Wrath of the Ancients bow, so you need to have already done this. If you don't know how to get the Wrath of the Ancients bow, I made a tutorial on it, and the link will be in the description below. Once you have the Wrath of the Ancients bow, then basically what you want to do is find four paintings around the map. By holding square on each painting, you'll get notified that you've done something, and there will be a green dog head symbol that will pop up on the painting. However, this needs to be done in a specific order. This order is here. The first painting you want to find is the one with the king sitting on the throne with the wolf sitting next to him. The second one is the king riding the horse into battle. The third is the apothecan coming out of the sky. And the fourth shows the king with an arrow in his chest dead. Now the first painting location is in the tower with the clock by the spiral staircase right here. What you want to do is hold square on it. When you do that, You'll get a little notification and you'll see the little glowing dog head there. The second one is in the comms room running up these stairs right here to the right. And then you see the picture with the king riding the horse. Hold square on it. There's the notification that you get you did this correctly. If you did it in the right order, then it'll stay lit up. If not, the dog head logo will disappear. The third location actually continues on from here. You run across this way, down these stairs, and to the right is a picture with the apothecan alien thing, whatever you want to call it. Press square on it, the logo will light up again on it, and you have third done. The fourth and final picture from the power room is you go down into the room with the armor all over the walls there. You make your way to the right, then on the left there's the picture right there with the king with the arrows in his chest. Press square there, you'll get a notification again that you got it correct. Then you have all four paintings. If you did it in the correct order, you can unlock the quest for the wolf bow. If you did not do it correctly, then you will have to redo it from the beginning. Picture one all the way through four. If you've done all four pictures correctly in the right order, then make your way into the pyramid room and on the wall right here before the knight's tomb, the wall will explode and it'll reveal the wolf arrow quest. Once you have the quest, what you want to do is take the teleporter over to the rocket test launch area. You want to run out and immediately to the right, after I initiate the launch pad, you'll see a flag way up on the hill. You shoot that hill, shoot the flag, I mean, and a skull will pop out of it, roll to the ground. It's glowing so you can't miss it. Once you pick that up, then you make your way back into the pyramid room. And then by the wolf altar, you'll see two skeletons on one side. One's missing a head. You put the head on the skeleton, and you'll see the wolf spirit pop out. Basically, follow him around, just like I'm showing you here. He comes and digs up a spot right here in the courtyard. And when he does this, it glows, and you shoot a bunch of zombies, and it collects the souls, just like seen here. Then when it's done, the dog will dig up the bones or the remains or whatever. You walk over to it, and once he's done, you pick it up. Then you follow the wolf to the second location, all the way down to by the car right there. And then he will dig up the bones, and you just want to kill some more zombies. Once the souls are collected, then you again pick up the remains. You follow the dog all the way back into the pyramid area. And right next to the Pack-a-Punch location, you'll see him dig up more remains and you kill more zombies, as seen here. Every time you see collecting souls. Once that's done, he does the same thing, digs them up. You pick up the remains. The wolf will run over to this tomb area. 
basically you have to wait until the room turns on so you can jump and climb on the walls and what you want to do is you want to shoot an arrow into that hole if you can so I miss here a bunch of times Let's see can't hit it just make sure you don't get hit by zombies so here I hit it I believe I do I still yeah see I got the the floor will lift up and basically what you want to do is stand on that but if you don't get there in time it falls back down which I learned the hard way here see I'm jumping on it and then boom where'd it go once you do it correctly you jump up there you hold square it builds the bones into there and the bones hand you an arrow you collect the arrow you run over to the spirit bow altar again you hold square again and the arrow will start glowing and basically what you want to do then is collect more zombie souls into that once that is done it'll just stop collecting souls and here it is done you'll see that the arrow is kind of like smoking you press square on it a big beam of light will pop out of it and the bow will pop out of that thing so there you go there's your wolf bow from the king. Now you can have some fun with it, like shooting panzers and basically just saving your life like crazy. But uh, it's a lot of fun. It, it basically, uh, when you fully charge the arrow, it knocks back a ton of zombies, and it's pretty cool. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you like the tutorial, please like the video and subscribe to see more. Also, don't forget to hit up my tutorial playlist because I have many other tutorials showing you how to unlock things on this map. Thanks for watching this video and have a great night.